Hi folks, my name is Holly McDonald and I am an academic success coach with student affairs at Cape Breton University. So in this video we're going to talk about note-taking. And note-taking is something you do um, while you're in class, but what you do with those notes is very important after class as well. So make sure that you're checking Moodle often for updates, um, that you scan your notes from your previous class before your next one, and that doesn't have to take a lot of time, just a few minutes. Complete your assigned readings. Um, it feels kind of overwhelming to be in a class when you don't know what's being talked about or discussed. So if you run at a time before class, which we understand may happen, um, just do a quick scan uh, of the reading, the first and last paragraph, if there's any summaries or key points, um, jot down a couple notes, and then go back to that reading after class. On the right of this slide, you're going to see um, one way to set up your notes page and it's called the Cornell Note System, which was developed by a professor at Cornell University, um, so we don't take credit for this. But the concept is that you have your main page, the biggest part is where you capture your notes. You're gonna date it and identify which course, because there's nothing worse than getting your notes mixed up. Um, if possible, the chapter and lecture number. Leave a column blank on the left that you'll fill in later with questions and leave a section at the bottom blank um, for a summary. Quick tip as well, um, there's a real great advantage to our online classes that you can turn on closed captioning in many platforms, um, and that will help you with your note taking and also for your learning as you listen and hear the lecture. After class, um, this is where you're gonna fill in this left column and your bottom summary. So, all the information that you have in your notes can be transformed into questions. And the advantage is that when you go back in a few weeks time, um, rather than having to take five minutes to read the entire page, you quickly ask yourself these questions. Do you know the answers? Do you need to look up more details? Um, but it's just a, another way to kind of look at the material and think about it. There could be key terms you want to look up um, the definitions for, um, and just little notes of what to follow up on. The idea of the summary is that it's just a quick one to two main points that summarizes everything you covered in this page. It's a great learning tool to try to be able to sum all the information down um, and it will help you with your studying later on. It's important to go back to your notes um, at the end of every week. Um, in a perfect world, it would be at the end of each day, um, but we know that's not always possible. So take 10 to 15 minutes at the end of each week, um, fill in any blanks and you know, if you're confused, you can research, go back to the material, follow up with your professor. Um, there's apps and websites like Quizlet.com where you can actually store these questions that you create and turn them into tests later on. Um, as always, you can kind of follow up with your academic success coaches and we can work with you one on one to come up with a note taking system that works best for you and supports you with your study goals. Thanks for tuning in.